Hi, I'm Andrew, and this is Ben, and today we're going to talk about how attackers are using Internet of Things, or IoT devices, to create botnets to launch massive DDoS attacks against businesses and service providers. All right, two questions. What are you doing, and what are you wearing? Look, you know how important security is to me. I don't want anybody watching me. I don't want anybody talking to me. Keep them away. And you're talking about attackers coming through the Internet, the Internet of Things, and using these kind of things, video cameras, no internet connection, no internet connection, brilliant. Nobody's getting a hold of me, nobody's watching me, I'm safe. So your solution is to rip everything out, go completely unconnected, and use the analog of things? Exactly, genius. I got about 100 of these things around the house, no one's hacking into my network. I don't know if genius is the word I would use, but that hat is awesome. You've ruined Hershey's Kisses for life. Um, Anyway, you could also send a message by a homing gerbil, but a phone call would work even better. Just a thought. So Chase, I guess what would you recommend for someone like Ben who's worried about being attacked in this with one of these uh, IoT? Someone like Ben, like other than medication, what I would recommend would be something like uh, di disabling default passwords when you get a device from the manufacturer. Um, if it has a possibility of having two-factor authentication, use it. Just make sure that who's using the device actually is who they say they are. And finally, uh, you know, if you can or should, that's the question that should be asked. Uh, yeah, you can have a web-enabled refrigerator in your office, but should you, is it actually going to do anything for the business? If you don't need it and it's not really doing anything to make things better, don't introduce a threat vector. That simple. Okay. See, Ben, you didn't have to rip everything out. You don't have to go completely unconnected and off the grid. Um, you follow a few simple steps from Chase and you're ready to go. But i got so many of these things now. What am I supposed to do with them? Maybe put them on eBay? Uh, I could buy those off of you and use them for boat anchors, or I'll take the hat off of you, one of the two. Well, thanks, Chase. Appreciate the advice. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. See you next time.